Well, as this week's stretch of warm weather continues, many springtime plants have already bloomed a little too early in some cases. Yeah, Eyewitness News meteorologist Dante Ricky joins us tonight to show us how early blooming can lead to a few growing issues. A lot of amazing sights outside like this one. This picture sent from Katie Yost of some daffodils here a couple weeks ago, early February. Even tulips blooming this early as we have temperatures in the 70s approaching 80 degrees. They think it's springtime, but it's very confusing because the warm temperature does bring an early start to budding season. And even for some plants that we rely on for food like lettuce and tomatoes and corn, they're more in season later in the spring and the summer. Now, if these plants begin begin to bud early, that can lead to many issues because once a freeze occurs or a frost, the plants can become dormant for a little bit longer time. The last time in recorded history that we had a freeze late in the month of May was May 24th, 1963. So we could still very easily have a frost or freeze even through mid-May. Typically, the growing season here in West Virginia starts in mid-April. However, it's still possible to be colder and below freezing even into the end of April. Another key point is to have frost, which can often put an end to a growing season. Frost forms because cold air sinks. And as warm air rises, you might actually have a temperature above freezing at the ground and have frost forming below you as that colder air continues to sink and put an end to the growing season. In addition to that, with early budding and a lot of flowering trees outside, that that could be an early start to the allergy season, making things more severe during the month of March and early on this spring. I'm meteorologist Dante Ricky. And for those living.